good idea. I think you just know it too. Yeah. Okay. Is that one going to be? I don't know. Maybe we should just try it. I think so. Yes. You still have enough meat left. Just watch yourself there. Okay. So we're making good progress already this morning. By 8 a.m. they had all of the remaining T and G up on the roof and it is looking excellent. And so next up is finishing the membrane and getting the first layer of insulation on. And we've made a slight design improvement to how we were gonna do this. I'll explain that a little bit later on. Yeah. 
George. Sir. That one there, can you just stomp it to me just a little bit? If you come out up onto the scaffolding where the guy is, yeah, thank you. Um, right, we got him. You can see that line a bit. Yeah, when it's come down a bit more. Quite happily. Yeah. I looked at the tower, they completely that, that was, they've got a massive range on them. Yeah. That's it. All the way to the back of the slot, so okay, I've got him
Okay, let's talk about the insulation that we're using on this project. Now, quick disclaimer, this will be a slightly more technical, involved conversation than all the nice shots of the work being done. So if you want to skip ahead, please feel free to do so. But I know that there are some people who are watching us who are looking for ideas and want some more of that kind of technical information about the products we're using and if we think they're any good or not. So disclaimer over, let's talk about insulation. We have two different types, but they are both made by the same company and they are both made from the same material. The first one here is called Gutex Thermosafe Homogen or Homogen. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I don't know which is correct. And it is made from compressed wood fiber and there's some kind of glue or binder in there as well, but it is mostly just wood. That is the first layer of the insulation. And then on top of that, we have this stuff, which is down here also made by Gutex, also compressed wood fiber. This one is called Multiplex Top, and it's actually referred to as a waterproof sarking board. So the top layer of this is actually waterproof, which means we don't need an additional membrane underneath the tiles. And now that we've got all these products on site here and have started to use them, we can revisit something that we explained a long time ago before we had the real materials here. And maybe we can clear up some confusion as we talk through each of the layers, what they're for and how they work in this system. Because we've got lots of layers to talk through and many of them are now covering each other, I thought a quick voiceover would be the best way to demonstrate and explain everything. So as you've probably already seen, we've installed tongue and groove ceiling boards on top of the original rafters. And this is the visible finish from the inside, the dark timber with nice contrasting white ceiling. And this means we don't want to cover it all up by insulating under or between the rafters. So instead, we're adding all the insulation above. And all the layers of this roof design are taken directly from the Gutex installation manual, option 1.2.1, if you're interested in looking it up and nerding out on this stuff a bit like we do. On top of the TNG, we've got a membrane. Now this is typically used as a waterproofing layer below the tiles, but we're using it as a vapor barrier and an air seal. So this should prevent any wind or dust or bugs or anything else from entering the loft space from the outside. And this is a moisture permeable membrane. Next up, we've got the first layer of the insulation, the Gutex Thermosafe Homogen, which is 60 millimeters thick. It's a square edged rigid board of compressed wood fiber. And these all just slot together nicely with a little bit of overlap so you don't have joints running all the way up and down the roof. On top of that, we've got the second layer of Gutex, the multiplex top, which is 35 millimeters thick. And this is a tongue and groove sarking board, which is waterproof. In fact, Gutex say that this layer can be exposed to the elements, including rain, for up to 12 weeks uncovered without any detrimental effects. And the reason that we've chosen this type of insulation is because it insulates from the cold in winter, but also insulates against heat in the summer because of the high density of the wood fiber. And because this is going to be a habitable space where I'll set up my office and video editing station and Kylie's craft space, we want it to be a pleasant temperature year round. On top of the Gutex comes counter battens and tile battens. But to reduce the weight and allow the guys to work up the roof and all these layers in stages, we've opted to use small packer pieces made from 12 mil marine ply. These raise the tile battens off the insulation to provide airflow and run off in the hopefully unlikely case of any water getting under the tiles. And then finally, we have the tiles on top. We're using the D3 Plus range from Coelho Silver, and these tiles are made here in Portugal. They're laid in an overlapping pattern, and we've chosen these because they match the ones that we took off earlier, but they've also got quite a high tolerance for placement, which works well when you're tiling old roofs with a little bit of unevenness, which we definitely have because we kept the original rafters. So there we go. That's probably more than you ever wanted to know about the insulation that we're putting onto our roof. And of course, one of the reasons that we've chosen this Gutex product is it is a natural material. It is just this compressed wood fiber. Yes, there's a bit of glue in it as well, but it is predominantly a natural material and it is moisture permeable. And I know there were a couple of people who had concerns that all of this wood was just going to soak up all the humidity and the moisture and stuff in the atmosphere and cause all sorts of issues. But in the Gutex manual, it explains that these boards can soak up to 15% by weight of moisture 
from humidity and stuff like that and then release it later on. It's quite similar to how the hemp and the lime in the plaster that we've used downstairs, in fact throughout the whole building, uh, that works in a similar kind of way. So this stuff's not cheap, it works out at about 30 euros a square meter, but in terms of the thickness that we're using, 95 mil, that has a comparable insulating value to the same thickness as the XPS blue foam insulation, which is perhaps more common in Portugal. So hopefully that clears a few things up. And again, it's worth stressing that we didn't invent this. We didn't just make up all these layers and this order of putting them together. We literally took it from the Gutex manual. And we'll put a link in the description to some of the product sheets and the manual. So if you're interested, you can look into that in a bit more detail. And the way that we're using it is just one of many of the options, but this is the option that made the most sense to us because we're insulating above the rafters rather than below or in between. If you have more questions or comments about this topic, do stick them down below and we will do our best to answer them or direct you off to somewhere else that can answer them. But I think that's pretty much it for now. And it is the end of another long day, so it is time to go and relax a little bit before we do all this again tomorrow. But that's it for now. We'll see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.